Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are testing out a brand new foundation. I'm really excited. Today we are going to be playing with the Smith & Colt Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. And then I also picked up this very interesting, unique primer. This is the Smith & Colt Black Drop Mattifying Face Primer. And from my understanding, this guy is actually black. So I'm really excited to be testing out these products today. I've never tried anything from this brand before. I recently just picked up these products at Ulta. I know that they've been in Ulta, that like this brand has been in Ulta for a little bit now, but my Ulta didn't get them right away. Um, so I kind of perused their display. It's a little bit smaller, but they did have some fun like shadows and glitters and things like that. But what really caught my eye were these foundations because I've heard that these are super 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 matte and very very long wearing and full coverage so yeah i'm really excited to test these out today with you guys and if you are interested in my first impressions and seeing a full wear test on these items then just keep watching all right so i do have like my normal skincare done that's why i look a little bit like shiny I guess but I am experiencing a little bit of dry skin so before I go in with this new primer I do want to just prep my skin a little bit more with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just for a little hydration especially because we're using like very very matte products today I really want to make sure that everything looks really nice and smooth and is not like adhering to dry flakiness um, so I'm just going to pull up this product okay so this primer costs $32 at Ulta um, and this is actually a charcoal primer so that's why it's black I'm assuming obviously um, so this is supposed to instantly brighten your face but also keep you very matte because it absorbs oil the charcoal is supposed to absorb oil um, it says it mattifies and brightens creates a smooth texture which means no pilling under makeup, and it's cruelty-free, paraben-free, and phthalate-free. Fat, fat, phthalate, phthalate-free. Apply it like a traditional primer prior to foundation or concealer using fingers or sponge. Blot until invisible. Wear alone or with makeup. Okay, let's go ahead and bust this guy open. You do get one fluid ounce in here, kind of like your standard primer. This is what it looks like. Um, so it's really interesting to me because the box says the black drop mattifying face primer. And then this says the charcoal brightening primer. So that was one thing that was a little bit confusing to me. I couldn't find it on Ulta at first because I was looking for a matte primer, but all that was coming up was a brightening primer. So it is the same thing. It's just really interesting that the box says one thing and then the bottle itself says something different. Just for your awareness, if you get confused, it's the same thing. Are you kidding me? This, this is black. It's black. Okay. Um, it's very, can you see that? Like, uh, uh, it's very jelly. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got it in my hair. Oh, this is going to be a hot damn mess. I already know it. Oh, my God. What if it doesn't blend out? Oh, it does blend to be invisible, I guess. Um, I think maybe I used too much. So as you can tell, I'm very congested. I'm still getting over being sick. From what I can smell, it does smell pretty good, I would say. This, I would say, dries to the consistency of like my Makeup Forever base, the mattifying one. Um, it's matte, like, and it doesn't really go anywhere. Like once it's dried down, it's dried down. Um, so... Oh, it says no pilling, but the more I rub it in, it's pilling. So I think, yeah, this is the same deal as like my Makeup Forever one. If you overwork it, then it gets a little bit funky and it starts to ball up on you. Like right there I have. Um, but I mainly just focused this in my T-zone and then dragged it out because that's where I need the most oil control. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm really glad it didn't stay black though. That was weird. Okay, this is just like bizarre. 
I don't know about this. So next up, I have the Veiled Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. And just so you guys know, this is originally $42, but it's currently on sale for $29.40, which makes me very nervous. Um, it has 89 reviews and it has four out of five stars. So, I mean, not terrible. So there's 42 options for colors, which is really, really nice. That's a pretty decent shade range. I'm happy about that. It says, for skin that feels covered, never caked. Foundation softens skin with an illuminating and oil-free matte finish. Long wearing with buildable medium coverage. Aloe vera hydrates and improves skin texture. Chlorophyll brightens. Microsphere powders ensure friction-free application and addictive silky texture. It's vegan and gluten-free. Um, it says it's soft focus blurring, radiant finish, weightless hydration, up to 12-hour wear. That's pretty good. I don't really want to wear my makeup more than 12 hours and this is cruelty free paraben free and phthalate free as well so it says to apply with your fingers brush or sponge to simply melt foundation into skin your face your rules okay so you actually get 1.1 fluid ounces and I have two shades here um, I got a really deep shade and then a pretty pale shade probably gonna have to go in with a pale shade because I'm not self tanned um, but because I do self tan and my tans wear differently each time I do like to get a pretty dark shade and then a pretty light shade and I can kind of customize my foundation shade from there rather than getting like 18 different ones um, I have a pretty good eye for mixing foundations especially with freelancing and stuff I've kind of learned how to color match really well so this is in the shade 310 neutral that's it right there. So this is obviously too tan for me. I'm not going to be using this today. And then I have 160 neutral. Yeah, I think 160 neutral is actually going to be a perfect match for me today. And this is usually as fair as I get. This is kind of my palest. Um, so like I said, there's 1.11 fluid ounces in here. It's a really nice bottle. It's glass. So just keep that in mind for traveling and things like that. It is really like heavy, like nice. It feels luxurious the packaging doesn't feel cheap at all it does have a pump which i always appreciate and i'm just going to take this on a beauty blender i know it's dirty i only used it one time though literally i swear i only used it once so i don't feel like washing it so we're just going to go with this um so i think i'm going to start with that's one pump i'm going to do a pump and a half i think oh yeah this color is going to be perfect for me um so i'm just going to start pouncing this into my skin All right, who said this was medium coverage? I don't know what medium coverage foundations they're using, but this, I would say, is um, full coverage. I, I, I would venture to say this is, this is pretty full coverage. It's blending in pretty easily so far, I must say. I do think I need a little bit more, maybe like half a pump more to get this side of my face. I kind of ran out of product. Um, but I usually go in with like two pumps of foundation on average, dependent on the pump but um usually I'll go in with two just to like build it up a little bit more so that's really not a big deal I'm not using that much more product than I normally would yeah they say that this is medium coverage I think that this is pretty full coverage in my humble opinion um I do have a few breakouts right here that I'm just gonna try and build this up a little bit but for the most part, like everything is really seamlessly blended and very well covered the first go around. So I would say this is more on the fuller of the medium coverages. You know, it's not like a light medium coverage. It's like a full medium coverage. That makes no sense. But you guys know what I mean. So yeah, I was able to build that up a little bit to kind of cover this problem area right here for me. And then I do have a little bit of a problem area um, between my brows right now. But I'm just going to leave that because I usually put concealer there and I don't want to like cake it up. Um, but I think the color match is a pretty solid like 10 out of 10. I think I did pretty good there. This feels really nice. It feels, it's not like a flat matte. It's definitely very matte, but it's like a silky matte. Um, like on my nose, I still see like a little bit of shine. It's not like a suck the life out of you matte. I think that it's like a really nice finish. I actually really, really like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly apply some concealer. I'm just really curious to see how the concealer blends. Um, that's usually like the biggest thing for me. Like how does foundation or my other products like work with a foundation? Um, 
I want everything to obviously blend together very nicely and seamlessly. I don't want product to like sit on top. I just want it to like kind of all melt together. I look pretty freaking airbrushed with this concealer on top. The concealer definitely obviously adds more coverage, but I think that right here I look so poreless and so like airbrushed. Really into that. And I don't think it's lifting any product, which sometimes I have an issue if I go in with a wet sponge on top of product that I just laid down. Sometimes I can pick up foundation and I'll see like patches where it came back up onto my sponge. Um, but I'm not seeing any of that right now, which is a very good sign. Yeah, so far so good. I think this looks really nice. I need to add some life back into my skin. I look like an egg, but I think that I look, yeah, I look smooth. It is creasing a little bit on my forehead, so I need to quickly set all of this. Alrighty, so makeup is all on. We are officially ready, finished with everything. Um, let me just start by saying that I really like this foundation so far. I think it's really, really good. It applied really easily. All my products blended in really well. I mean, I have no complaints. There was no skipping or anything like that. The only thing I will say is I am very, very, very matte, which can be a good thing, but if you have dry skin, I really don't think that you would like this foundation. I'm really interested to see if this primer was super necessary. Maybe I could have used just like a regular blurring primer and then gone in with this foundation because it is so matte. Um, but I think that this is gonna really help out in the longevity. I definitely wanted to use them both together because they kind of like go together. Um, but yeah, my skin looks so flawless and so airbrushed. This foundation is super, super lightweight. I find with a lot of matte foundations, they actually are pretty lightweight. On me, the luminous or like more satiny, dewy ones are the ones that look really heavy on me. So this one laid beautifully on my skin. I am really, really happy with how it turned out. But yeah, like I said, I am like matte. So what I want to do is just go in with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to kind of liven everything up. Um, I did use this after I applied the foundation and applied the powder. I sprayed this all over my face and then went in with my bronzer and everything. Um, but I just want to give myself another spritz because it is so freaking matte. So... This is just going to really help everything kind of melt into the skin. Um, if I'm looking a little lifeless or flat, I will always just go in with like a nice spray to kind of amp everything up and bring life back into my face. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really, really impressed with this. I really like it. Sorry, my lights are really, really bright, but I don't know if you guys can tell just like how like flawless everything looks. I think it looks so nice. I'm really, really happy with how it came out, especially right here. Everything is just so blurred and smooth. And a lot of times I have issues with foundation covering my nose or looking weird on my nose, but nothing is caking here and my nose is completely covered. Nothing is rubbing off. My forehead looks nice. Like I said, it did crease a little bit. I too have some forehead wrinkles because I'm very expressive. So foundation typically does settle in there, so that's normal for me. Um, but overall, I think this foundation is a 10 out of 10 so far. I'm really intrigued to see how this wears. I'm also a little bit nervous to take this off because I feel like it is like tacked on. But I'm basically just gonna go throughout my day. I have some work to do, some errands to run, and then I will check in with you guys in a few hours and let you know how it's looking. So. Let's go ahead and get our day started. Alrighty guys, so I feel like I'm always filming in this exact spot in my house, but it's brightest here because we have like a sliding glass door. Um, but I forgot to even tell you what time it was to get this word test started. It is currently 11.13, I'm so sorry about that. I'm like such a scattered mess. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is what the foundation is looking like in natural light. Oh. It's so good, you guys. I really, really love this product so far. I think it is so flawless. It just looks so airbrushed. I am a huge fan, and I'm really, really 
excited to see how this wears. I hope it wears really well because this is definitely so underrated and if it's on sale, I'm about to go get like six other ones. Um, I need to stock up if this is really as good as it seems. I'm hoping it's not too good to be true. Um, but yeah, it is currently 11.13 so I am just going to do some work around the house and then I am going to go run some errands and stuff and I will check in with you when I'm out and about so that way you can see it when I'm like actually outside and then I will show you what it looks like at the end of the day. So I have just finished running some errands. It is currently um, 2.03 in the afternoon. So I've been wearing this foundation for about three hours now. Um, I think everything still looks really, really good. I'm really intrigued to see what it looks like because I was wearing sunglasses. Um, I have, I don't know if you can see, I have little indents but no makeup came up, like no foundation is missing. I don't know you guys, I feel like this is a good one. I do look really matte still, especially now that I'm outside looking at my skin. I look pretty, pretty matte. You can see some texture, but I mean, I think it's still really, really good. Um, it's wearing strong. I'm not oily at all. I still feel nice and matte. And it feels really soft and smooth, I must say. Like, it's not sticky or anything. And I don't need to blot or touch up with powder. I'm thoroughly impressed so far. I, I mean, it's only three hours in. And I haven't been, like, doing a ton. And it's not really hot today or anything. So, I don't know if that's, like, a good test. Because... It's not like crazy weather, um, but I think so far I am really digging it, and this might be a really good foundation for in the summertime. I don't know if the winter is the best for me because I get more like dry combo, but I think in the summertime this would be rocking for my oily, sweaty skin for sure. If you're dry, I I don't see you liking this. So, yep, this is where we're at three hours in, and I will check in with you guys again soon. Hey, you guys. So, it is officially the end of the day, and my last check-in. I am exhausted and ready to get this makeup off my face and go to bed. Like, oh, I'm so tired. Um, so, as you can see, um, I'm a little bit shinier than when I last checked in with you guys. Um, but I think overall this held up really, really good. My mouth area looks a little funky because I was eating and drinking and that kind of thing. Um, and then my forehead is for sure very, very greasy. Um, but honestly, well, I don't want to say very, very greasy because honestly, I think that this did a good job of keeping my oils at bay for like the majority of the day. It's 1024, so I've had this on like a long time today. I think for the amount of time I've been wearing it for, I think it actually looks pretty dang good, especially on my cheeks and here. It's still really, really full coverage. The only place that I'm a little bit oily is on my forehead. I'm not really one to blot when I'm like out and about. I don't really do like a ton of like makeup touch-ups just because I cannot be bothered. Um, so I probably wouldn't even blot this and I think it looks fine. I mean, I just look like really dewy, but I really don't hate it. I think everything like lasted really well. My contour, my highlight, everything still looks really, really good. And I think that if I just freshened it up a little bit, it would still work for me. So I decided that when I do my wear tests and stuff, I'm going to try and give foundations or products when I'm doing a review, like a numeric rating. So that way you guys can kind of like really understand how I'm feeling about it. Cause sometimes when I'm like, oh, it's good, but I'm like dewy, but I still like it. Like it's a little bit confusing. So I would give this an eight out of 10, an 8.5 out of 10, I think. Yeah, I think I really, really like it. Um, I'm definitely eager to continue trying this, and then I really wanna try this primer with a few other foundations that I have to see if it's the primer or if it's the foundation. I'm really curious to see like which one of these or maybe like both of them together are just like super, super amazing. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really satisfied and happy that I purchased these items. I'm really glad that I branched out and tried a new brand. If you are interested in testing this out, like I said, it is on sale right now, so now's a great time to go and snag it. Um, I haven't heard a ton of people talking about this product, so I hope that this review was very helpful for you guys. Like this video if you enjoyed it and you wanna see more wear tests, and then don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that way you are alerted every single time I upload a video. 
in the new year, I'm going to try and make a very, very big effort to go back to uploading like twice a week, I think is like a good, a good plan for me to start with. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.